I want to talk about kingdom thinking because that's what the saints of God are. We're, our citizenship is in heaven. We are aliens in this earth. Yes, and we're, you know, we advance and we represent the kingdom of God. We are ambassadors for Christ. Yes, we don't, we don't live here. We're just here. This earth is our embassy here, and God has sent us here. We're here placed on a mission with a ministry of reconciliation to reconcile people to Christ. That's what we're about. We're about our Father's business, and even as he is, so are we. So why Jesus is reconciling, and he's work, reconciling through us. That's what we're supposed to be about. This is kingdom thinking. Now, if you're worldly thinking, you're probably bothered about you're probably bothered about your health. You're probably bothered about, you know, the economy and all the financial prognostications and so forth. You're probably bothered about crime and so forth. But when you got kingdom thinking, you can rest assured in the kingdom of God, we have our own military. We don't, we don't necessarily need the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Coast Guard, and Navy SEALs, and so forth. In the kingdom of God, we have the angelic hosts. We got guardian angels. We got cherubim. We have archangels who are warring angels. We have seraphim who are ministering angels. This is kingdom thinking. The angel of the Lord, Psalm 34, 7, encamps about them that fear him. See, this is kingdom thinking. We have our own protection. We have our own constitution, which is the word of God. This is kingdom thinking. Yes, in the United States of America, we have our Declaration of Independence, our Constitution. However, in the kingdom of God, we have our own Constitution that gives us our rights and our liberties and so forth. And if saints of God begin to live with kingdom thinking, that's why the scripture says, be ye not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove that good, acceptable, and perfect will. So we have to renew our mind so that we be thinking kingdom-minded. Yes, hallelujah, kingdom-minded. Check it out. We don't need Obamacare in the kingdom. In the kingdom, we have Jehovah Rapha, the God that healeth thee. We have the balm of Gilead. He himself bore our sickness and took our infirmities. Yes, and by his stripes we are healed. See, this is kingdom thinking right here. Because if you're worldly thinking, you're depending on Medicaid and Medicare and Obamacare and everything else. But if you're kingdom thinking, you know that Jesus already took care of it. You've already been purchased with a price. You've been redeemed from the curse of the law, which is sickness, poverty, and death. Be kingdom minded. And this is kingdom thinking, which is what I'm conveying to you right now. Many of the Christians are not thinking kingdom minded. They're earthly minded. No, and that doesn't mean be so heavenly minded. You're no earthly good. But hey, child of God, you, you got to represent your father who art in heaven. And he sent us a mandate. He sent us a way to live this life here on earth, how to reign victorious over all things. And it's the way we think. It's the way we think is be kingdom minded, kingdom thinking. We have our own financial program. We don't have to depend on handouts and entitlements and so forth. No, we store up our treasures in heaven where moth won't corrupt, rust won't destroy, and thieves can't break through and steal. We advance the kingdom of God with the first fruit of all of our increase, and God blesses us and pours out so much we don't have room enough to receive it. This is kingdom thinking. This is what we have to get to.